Any news? What did the gods say? Great seer of our land, what did you see? What said the gods? What did they say is my faith with him? My princess, the future is very bright. But the gods did not show anything to me. They did not say anything to me. Eye of the gods, what are you saying? Why are you talking from both sides of your mouth? What do you mean the future is bright, but the gods did not say anything? <coughs> I came here for you to clear my head of the confusion that has been clouded it. But you are getting me more confused. What exactly did the gods say? I only speak what I know. Then maybe you should consult the gods again so they can speak to you this time around. And maybe you will hear them. My princess, does it mean you are doubting what I have just told you? I am Anyoko, the great seer, the great messenger of the gods, the great masquerade of this land. I have no reason to hold back the message of the gods. I have no reason not to let my princess get an answer to the question she asked. Well, I don't understand what you are saying. I came here for clarity. And I demand you speak to the gods so they will talk to you, so you can talk to me. Hello? Igwe. Yes, sir. Obina has become my man. You can say that again. <laughs> you see, uh, Igwe, it is because he has become a man. That is why we are here to see you this beautiful afternoon. I see. Igwe, you see, not quite long ago, my son called me up. He said uh, he has come of age. He is now a man. And he would like to do what uh, men do. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Obina, what do you know that men do? He said, they start a home. They keep a home. So I want to start a home. I said, ah, oh, nice one. <laughs> my grave was here about this. <laughs> and I asked him, I said, who could the lucky lady be? He said, who else? But the most beautiful princess we have in our kingdom and beyond. Oh, really? Your daughter. <laughs> our princess. <laughs> I said, oh, well, that's fine. So, uh, Igwe. That is why <clears throat> we have come to inform you officially mm -hmm. with this drink mm -hmm. to tell you our intention. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, greetings, Your Majesty. Uh, like you rightly pointed out, that uh, I am now a man. <laughs> <laughs> that's my son. That's my son. <laughs> so it will not be out of place to say that I have. Um, decided to do what men do. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so, your, your, your Majesty, I, I called my father to accompany me to officially let you know my intentions. Your Majesty, I will be the happiest man on earth if my wish will be granted. I mean, my wish of getting married to the princess. To our princess will be granted. Igwe, Igwe, you will live long. Oh no, Igwe. Um, of course, uh, you are the know who of his kingdom, and um, uh, you know what the tradition is all about because mm. you are by by. Well, you have done a great thing, you know, by virtue of uh, coming in this way. <laughs> but as you can see, um, the princess uh, is not at home. 
Otherwise, I would have called her out here mm. to seek her opinion as regards this. But nevertheless, be expectant of good results mm. as soon as she comes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. thank uh, you. Let me still call um, some of my royal hands. Uh, you still like that uh, John Manson? <laughs> you would like to go to John Manson? <laughs> you, will, you will live long. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. right. ah, I see. I see. <clears throat> Greetings, Father. The beauty of the Pride Land. Long live the great king of Inyato Kingdom. As well. Uh, Greetings, Ono. We greet you, our beautiful princess. Greetings. Greetings, my princess. Thank you, Ono. Um, my princess, father. the gods have ordered your step right on time. Now, have you been looking for me, father? Well, um, things fall in place. Ono here and his son, Obina, are here because of you. His son here. Came with this, and <laughs> he's uh, asking your hand in marriage. And I want to know what your opinion is. Um, yes, uh, my princess, I already told your father, our king, here that I would be the happiest man on earth to have you as my beloved bride. <laughs> Please. Uh, so, what do you have to say about it? Father, I lack words to express how I feel inside me right now. If you don't mind, I would like to take my leave. Excuse me, what do you mean by that? What I am trying to say, Father, is that I am speechless. And please permit me to take my leave right now. Tiba nwe nwe ji ofo ona nu de. Tiba nwe nwe ji ofo ona nu de. When we do your fault, if I went with you, your fault, and I knew that. But when we do your fault, if I went with you, your fault, and I knew that. If I went with you, your fault, and I knew that. But when we let you your fault, if I went with you, your fault, and I knew that. When we let you your fault, if I went with you, your fault, and I knew that. But why I let you your fault, if I went with you, your fault, and I knew that. When we let you your fault, and I knew that. was created by the gods and was given different destinies. These destinies are bound to manifest because their chief brought them their way. No mortal dares the gods. No human says no when the gods say yes. No human questions the gods. No ordinary man dreams of fighting to change the destinies given to him or her by her chi or his chi. 
it is not done. For such destinies were given in accordance with the dictates of the gods. Destinies that's already made to manifest. Destinies that are already made to guide. Destinies that are made to protect. Honestly, mother, I don't understand what you're trying to say. What I am trying to say is that the way you walked out on your father in the presence of Onohu and his son who came to ask for your hand in marriage was a bad one. He is the king. No one dares to walk out on the king of Inyato kingdom. But mother, I am not just anyone. I am Princess Urena. The only daughter of the Igwe of Inyato. Besides, I did not walk out from them. I took permission before I left. I did not grant that request. You left my presence. What was that embarrassment all about? Father, I am sorry if I embarrassed you, but I did not mean to. That was exactly what you did. You embarrassed me before no one his son, Novina. Your Majesty, please forgive her, please. What was exactly bothering your mind that you lacked words to express yourself? Father, didn't you see I was confused? I mean, the information took me on our words and I didn't want to give you a wrong answer. What do you mean by you were confused and you never wanted to give a wrong answer? Mother, I like Obina as a person. But my heart does not beat for him to be my husband. Urena. <coughs> Onowu is my good friend. At the same time, he is the noble of his great kingdom. He is wealthy. And his son too, Obina, is a handsome man. Hard-working. He is going to take care of you as a woman. You do not need to reject him, not at all. Father, like I said, I don't feel anything for Obina. My heart does not beat for him. He cannot be my husband. Except my father is pushing me into marriage with someone I don't love. Hmm. Father, you have to understand, I am not just an ordinary maid. I am not one of those maid running around the village or the stream, doing one thing or the other, looking for a man who will say hello to them. I am Princess Urena, daughter of Igwe Chilaka Anosike, any sister of this kingdom. I cannot just marry a man my heart does not beat for. I don't love him. Son, you need to get out of this mood. It will not do you any good. How do you mean, Father? Since we came back from the palace, you, you have been moody, behaving funny. Eh? Why? 
It's not part of it. Father, how do you expect me to be? Father, were you expecting me to dance? Father, I am about losing the mother of my unborn children. The princess is slipping out of my hands in the broad daylight. Says who? Father, how can you ask me, says who? I mean, were you not there at the palace? Father, everything happened right before your eyes. Father, can't you read the body language of the princess? The princess only said she lacked words to express what was happening to her there and then. Now, listen to me, son. Maybe she was excited over your proposal towards her. Mm -hmm. Father, hmm? are, are you serious? Just maybe. Father, how come I never, I never thought in that direction? I mean, I never thought in that direction all this while. My son, rest your head. I'm your father. Trust me. <laughs> no cause for alarm. Eh, wait. Amazing. Baby, I'm sorry. I don't know how these things happen, but believe me, this is the last time. I promise you it's not going to she, happen. She knows you're, you're very stupid for saying that. I mean, what is wrong with you? No, tell me! What is wrong with you? I seriously don't know how these things happen. Believe me, I don't even know what is wrong with me. You're sorry, you're sorry. One thousand sorries and the next minute you're doing the same thing. What is wrong with you? Maybe you shouting. I promise you, this will be the last time. It's never going to happen. Oh, that was what you said the last time. It's going to be the last time. I don't even know how these things happen. What is all this? Baby, just calm down, okay? Can we just... Go back to bed and try. Oh, it's not going to happen. I promise. What? Did, what did you say? Can we go back to bed and continue? You must out of your mind. Now listen and listen very good. I am not going to do anything with you. At least not now. What rubbish. Baby, I'm sorry. Don't. I feel my good friend is busy with his act of drawing. Yeah, very, very, very What's up now? I'm good. I'm making some meat here. Ah. Iko? Yeah. So, what about mine? You've, you've not started mine. This is exactly the fifth day. Fifth day I asked you to draw a befitting image of me. That I want to put it in my house. I eh? know, I know, I know, I know, my brother, I know, I know. So, so, so why haven't you started drawing mine? Um, you, you see, I've started this one already, you know, before your own request. But I, I, I promise you, once I'm done with this, I'm going to start your own. And I'll deliver it as soon as possible. Okay? Mm. You go, you go, I beg you. Let me let me hold you by your by your word. Yeah. You uh, get it. Alpha. I'm good. Guy, I hate you. You could get it in for us. Oh. What is that? You just reminded me that I've not even had time to cook anything to eat. Okay now. How can you remember that you've not had something to eat? How many times have I told you to get 
a good girl for yourself, who will be taking care of you, cook for you when you need to. If you don't want to, you want to suffer, doing all this in all the time. Look at who is talking. The last time I checked, this person gave me advice to marry. He's still single. How can you be telling me to get married? Why you're not married yet? Uh, yeah. I know, I know. Are you not single? <laughs> I know that I'm single. <laughs> but, but I'm one. I am better than you. How are you better than me? Everybody in this community, everybody knows the girl I want to marry. Everybody knows. But with you, you don't have, you don't even know the kind of lady that you want in your life. You don't even know the picture. You don't even have a clear identity of some kind of girl that you want for yourself. I know what I want. I will know her the day I will set my eyes on her. Yes. That day, I will realize that this is a person I want to marry. When I see her, I will know her. Okay? So don't bother yourself. Anyway, if you don't mind, come and help me in the kitchen. Eh? Come and help me in the kitchen. Let's uh, go. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I am coming. When you finish cooking, you go see my reverse. I will come back. Come on! <laughs> I like you so much. Come on! Come on! You are not serious, though. This guy is not serious. Let me move on. I'll call you to come and eat. Okay. Yeah, Greetings to the beautiful princess of Enyato Kingdom. May the gods bless you, Zodima. He say, How are you? I'm good. I can see my princess is heading somewhere. I'm actually on my way to your friend's house, Ikenna. Oh. I hope I meet him at home. Oh, oh yes. I'm actually coming from his place. Oh, interesting. Yes, my princess. I hope he is good. Uh, yes, um, he is good. As a matter of fact, he should be in the kitchen cooking right now. Mm. Uh, my princess, I have talked to him severally to get a wife for himself, but he doesn't want to listen to me. Well, Uzodima, your advice is a good one. Uh, a friend should do that. But I believe when the time is right, he can now do the right thing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, please, uh, equally advise him to uh, uh, get a wife for himself. Uh, he's not getting younger. Eh? Uh, at least, don't forget to tell him to keep my own food when he's done cooking. Yes, I am coming to take my portion. <laughs> Who's that, my, you're a very funny man. Yeah, my princess. Well, it's good. Um, not to worry, I'll pass your message across, okay? Thank you, my princess. Okay, I'll have to be on my way now. Hey, hello, go princess. Take care of hey. yourself. I don't know better, the mm -hmm. princess. You flatter me. Oh, Kuloka Kembu, the princess. Thank hey. you. Oh, Emaka. Princess, you want. Hey. For me. I've been waiting to hear the latest between our daughter and Obina, the son of Uno. I don't understand, Your Majesty. I'm confused. Lolo. Your Majesty. You know, women are known to be very close to their daughters. Why is our daughter always rejecting men that comes her way? Does she want to remain unmarried? May the gods forbid. It's not enough to save me, the gods forbid. You need to find out what her problem is that causes all this. Your Majesty, I have tried speaking to her. So what is her headache? She didn't say anything tangible. 
the only thing she ever said was that uh, that her mind did not accept them. You need a lot of work to do. You need to brood her brain so she could speak to you. Go and talk to your daughter so that you know what her problem is. Your Majesty, you know your daughter. She's very stubborn and secretive. She took that after you. How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. Princess of Enyato Kingdom. Greetings, Ikenna. You're welcome. I can see you're busy. Yes. I had to come straight to the kitchen because your friend told me you were cooking. And I can see you're doing exactly that. You mean my friend Ozodima told you that? Yes, he I... did. And he also said I should tell you to send words across to him when you're done cooking so he can come and eat. She says, please, don't <laughs> mind him. Don't just mind that, that guy. You have a very funny friend, I must say. <laughs> anyway, I... I came to spend the day with you. Um, that's if you don't mind. Princess, that's... thoughtful of you. But as you can see, I am so busy right now. Well, I don't see it as a problem, as my mates can continue from where you stopped. But Princess, no, I, I love cooking my food myself, please. Please, you don't have to. No. Mm. Yes. I see. Now I see why your friend insists that you get a wife. You should get a wife indeed. Well, if you will not let my maid do the job for you, I might as well do it myself. Oh, Hope that's... Princess, please don't go there. No, 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 no. This won't be good at all. <laughs> you want to put me into problem. Hey, princess, you don't have to do that. I chose it as a man so we're back up on a day because <laughs> Well, I don't see what the problem is, but if you insist it's going to be a problem, then you have to allow my girls do it. <sighs> if it's a problem, I d I will do it myself. No, let me it, let me It's let okay, me. as she pleases. It's okay. It's okay. No no problem. As my princess pleases. It's okay. Then so shall it be. Quick. So what exactly were you trying to cook? I want to, now that you've come around. Are you supposed to be sitting there? Will you? Let me clear this side. I know you're lazy, but just try so we can't give on time. Okay, Biko. I've had you. I know, Biko, please. Let's do this so we can. Nobody man did not come to the farm with us. shouting at your wife in your room earlier. What happened? Well, Machi, don't worry yourself. It's nothing too serious. Brother. You forgot that you're not a good liar. 
Nothing serious and you were shouting on top of your voice at your wife like that. Anything that made you shout it at her that way must be something serious and very important too. What is it? My wife. How can my wife be mentioning another man's name each time I'm making love to her? I'm tired. I don't, I'm tired. Again? And what did she say cost it this time? I don't understand this whole thing. I don't. I don't get it. Brother, all is definitely not well. But my major concern is you refuse to see it from your own point of view. What point? That my wife is possessed by a spiritual husband. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah. Then if she's not possessed, what is it? That means she's seen another man. Seeing another man, you said. Of course. No matter, that's not possible. I mean, how can she be seeing another man when I'm alive? Huh. Listen, Olomachi, I don't want you to say that again. And I want you to know that I trust my wife. Huh. With my life. Brother. Brother, in this life, nothing is impossible. Nothing. Nothing is impossible. Masquerade. We have been friends for a long time now. And um, then I decided to make her my bride. Um, the great masquerade of Inyato Kingdom. I have come to know if she's destined to be my bride. I mean, my wife. No human being. What he or she should not know. Everyone born to this earth came with a certain gift, certain destiny. And whatever your chief gives to you is what you take. Whatever your chief gives to you is what you take. Great masquerade. Are you saying that she's not my wife? Uh, hey. Do not put words into the mouth of the gods. I'm sorry, Great Masquerade. But please, tell me what I want to hear. Who is that lady? Who is that lady that is eating deep into your head, son of Amanze? Princess Urena, Great Masquerade, the daughter of. Um, our king, I mean, the great king of our kingdom. I want her to be my bride. No one has the right to change his or her destiny. Neither does anyone have the right to change his or her nature. Go home, son of Amanze. Allow time and fate to be the ultimate decider. Hey, 
Chichi. Do you think that the princess will actually stoop so low to cook for Ikenna today? No. I was surprised when I heard her say that she was going to cook for this young man. Sometimes I wonder the kind of person this our princess is. Who oh, with a very unstable character? Eh? I think she's up to something. You see, you think? Yes. She is up to something. The question is, what is she up to? What's the more of Simeon? She's up to something. I can't really place it. But I know that her recent character is for a purpose. Mm -hmm. That purpose, both of us will be alive and see it come to pass. Mm? But now, our major issue, our major problem is to cook this food and very fast before she comes here and fresh out at us. Easy. Hey, hey. Our princess will choose the one. Not the person you said that was dying at the farm a while ago. Yes, she is. I, I had to run back to call you so you could help me carry her to Anyoku for healing. Believe me. Let's meet up there and find out what happened. Okay. Amara. Amara. Amara, what happened? What happened, Amara? Who came to rescue you, Amara? I thought you were my friend. How could you leave me in that farm to die? No, Amara, no, that's not it. I had to run back to call Uzodima to help me carry you to Ayoko for treatment. Honey, what you're saying is the truth. So what happened? We were working in the farm. Okay. And then suddenly I felt a sharp pain all around my chest. And then I fell on the floor. I was struggling to breathe. And then I stopped breathing. How then did you wake up? Because your friend said you were almost dead. Yes, I did. But then a strange power entered inside of me. When, it, when an unknown hand touched me. A hand touched you? I, I, don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? This whole thing feels strange to me. All I know is that I felt an unknown being leaving me while I was opening my eyes. This, this person you're talking about, is it a man, a woman? By the gods, I do not know. The ray of light surrounding this person could not let me see whether it was a man or a woman. I think it's a spirit. A, a spirit? Please, we need to leave. I'm, I'm scared already. I'm seriously scared. Let's, let's go home. My brother, why are you cheating on a man that paid your bright price? A man that loves you more than his own life. Excuse me. <laughs> me cheating on my lovely husband. Oloma, where is this coming from? How? Stop the pretense, please. Stop. I am not pretending. Oloma, what is this? I am not cheating on my husband, and I will never do so. If you're not cheating on my brother, then you're possessed. God forbid. I told my brother, but he won't listen. Oloma, for the last time, I am not cheating on your brother, and I will never do so. Okay, tell me. If you are not possessed, what sort of a woman will be calling another man's name while her husband is making love to her? Tell me! About that, honestly, I don't know what to say. But, 
I am not cheating on my husband. Oloma, I am not cheating on my husband. So stop it. Do I look like a baby to you? Do I look like a baby to you? Listen and listen very well. Pray nothing happens to my brother. Because if anything happens to my brother, what I will do to you? You won't live to tell this story. She's a doctor of light. Doctor of light. She's a doctor of Excuse me. Please, what is your name and where are you from? My name is... Aiko? Aiko? Whoa! What is this smoke? What is this rubbish now? Eh? Who's the man must come at this time? You just came and spot everything for me. What did I spoil? Eh? She was about to tell me her name. Where she come from. And everything about her. Before you woke me up and spot everything for me. You've been dreaming, right? You can call it whatever you want to call it. But this is the clear picture of the person I've been describing to you people. This is the clear picture. Hi. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the maiden I want to get married to. That's what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. Are you talking about a tall, fair, beautiful and a humble lady you've been talking about? Exactly. That is what I'm saying. I was with her a while ago in my dream. Exactly. In your dream. That is where you can find that kind of girl and not in this community. Except you have to beg the gods to send that kind of girl from above. Uzodema, why are you such a dream killer? Why? If it's about this kind of dream, again, I am ready to kill it a thousand times. Yes, I'm ready to kill it a thousand times. Nenemaya. <sighs> Now I know why I don't want to listen to anyone about getting married. Hmm? How will you get married when you can cook this kind of delicious food? On the contrary, I didn't cook it. Who then did? Princess came around and ordered her maids to do that for me. Ah, you cannot. I didn't send the word across to me. Knowing very well that I told you earlier when I came that I was hungry. Eh? And where are you going to? Ah. To dish my own food, of course. I'll finish the food. Everything. I won't give any for you. Okay, take care. Can I actually go back to this street now? Sweetheart. Sweetheart. How are you? What's, what's going on? 
What are you doing and why is my lunch not served? Why will I serve you lunch when I'm cheating on you? And what is that supposed to mean? Ask your sister Olomachi. She will tell you. What? You, you crying? Why are you crying, baby? Don't pretend. Your sister looked me in the face and accused me of infidelity. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> she, she said that? I'm Obi. What kind of a man are you? Must you tell everybody what is happening in our marriage? Can't we have privacy? Tell me, do you even know the meaning of secret? I'm sure you don't. So disappointed at you, my husband. Listen, sweetheart. I didn't expect this from you. You don't have to say that. You don't. Don't, don't, don't say that. Amubi, I will say it over and over again. Because I know the both of you planned it. Yes. No. You both planned it. And I'm sure you're the one that told her to come say those things to me. And even the threat. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say threats? Amobi, I said threats. Your sister threatened to deal with me if anything happens to you. Come on. Why would your sister even say that to me? Amobi, this is not the man I married. I have not even seen him. Because if you're the man I married, you wouldn't go and tell your sister things about us. So around her, tell me that if anything should happen to you, that she would deal with me. Really? I didn't expect this. But I know you did it. You told her. So don't pretend. No. You did. Hello, <coughs> <coughs> Shutting my name like that. Very stupid to ask me such useless question. What, what, did I do? what is this madness? What did you tell my wife? The truth. What stupid truth? That she's either cheating on you or she's possessed by a spiritual husband. <laughs> and that's for being stupid. You can slap me all you want, but it doesn't stop me from telling you the truth. Your wife is nothing but a cheap prostitute. What that's what say? she is. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> My daughter, every maiden is supposed to grow from who is your father to who is your husband. And that includes you. Mother, this I know. But why you are saying this is what I don't know. Have I not been a good mother to you? Have I not been playing my role as a mother to you? Have I not been giving you good advice as a mother? Mother, you're getting me all confused. Why are you asking me all those questions this night? Your father thinks that I have failed as a mother. Maybe God forbid. Your father thinks I am not playing my role, giving you the necessary advice I need to give to you as a mother. Why would he even conceive such an idea or think about it? Where is it coming from? Your constant rejection of men that are coming to have your hand in marriage led him into thinking of such about me. Mother, I will get married when the time is right. When? To whom? My dear, 
if you do not hasten up to pick a husband, very soon men will start running away from you. May the they will say it. you are now old. Mama, mother, please, can you stop? The gods will not allow such a thing to happen to me. Then make up your mind. And try. Can I go to bed now? Greetings, Your Majesty. May the gods bless you, Kitchen. His Majesty demands your presence at once. I'll be right behind you. Listen, Princess, you can go to bed, but think about what I told you. Okay? This is why you. This is why you called me out this night. Yes, it's very important. Okay, I will think about it. Good night, mother. Good night, my darling. Please, when you go to sleep, think deep about it and give me a positive answer. Think about it. Come on, go to bed. I will. Come on. Tell me, Kenna, who taught you this great act of painting and drawing? Why would my princess want to know who taught me how to draw or how to paint? Because you are good at it. And everyone in this kingdom and beyond talks about how good you are. As a matter of fact, they call you the best, including me. You're not flattering me. No, I am not. And deep down your heart, you know I am speaking the truth. And sometimes it makes me wonder, if you are this good, then your master must be wonderful. So I would like to meet him so he can teach me how to draw just like you. <laughs> That's a big joke. I'm not joking. I am very serious, Ikenna. Okay, my princess, I must tell you that no one taught me. I was taught by the gods. My chi. I said it. <laughs> you know, I have always had it in my mind that this might just be a gift from the gods. And I am right. Ikena, you are blessed. The gods have blessed you so much with such a great talent. Thank you. And I don't know if you will be gracious enough to teach me how to do this too. Who knows? One day I might have to draw you. <laughs> if that is going to make my princess happy, the princess of this great kingdom. If this is going to really make you happy, then I'll teach you. Are your words true? If that is going to make you happy, I will teach you. I promise by the gods. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. I truly appreciate this. Ikenna, you are a good man. You're welcome. Thank you.
Ikena. My precious. You are a very handsome and hardworking young man. Whom the gods have blessed with such a great gift like this. A gift that attracts both high and mighty to you. So what is keeping you from doing what the other young men are doing? My precious, sorry, I do not just understand the question you just asked me. Iken, now why haven't you taken a bride? I... I am very sorry if I'm intruding or crossing my boundaries, but I am your friend. I believe I should ask questions like this. No, it's okay. I understand. But I have not seen the person that my heart seeks. Are you saying out of all the young maidens in this kingdom, none is what being your wife. No, I didn't mean that at all. What I'm trying to say is that I have not seen the person and I know that the very day I will set my eyes on her, I will know. Then I will take her in as my wife. No matter how long it takes. It doesn't matter. No matter how long it takes. He does not feel the same way I feel. He does not even find me worthy to be his wife. Every man in this village would kill, would do anything to have me as their wife. But here I am, loving someone who does not even love me, I'm not even sure he likes me. <sighs> but the irony of it all, is that that is why I love him why I want to make him my man at all costs find anyone. My dear, this whole thing is really confusing. Honestly, I couldn't close my eyes all through the night because I was so much afraid. What exactly do we call this? <laughs> and you know, this whole thing feels like the same thing that happened to me yesterday at the farm. Who could be behind this? 
I will thank to the gods for saving you. Because it was actually the gods that came to your rescue last night. I don't know about that, but thank them all the same. So, where's your mother? She went to inform my uncle of the incident. So thoughtful of her. At least Sanyoku should be in a better position to explain what happened to you last night. Yes, yes, yes. That's very correct. That's one step in the right direction right now. Yeah. Uh, you see, I have to go and see my friend. He can now. Uh, let me know if he's still alive. Uh, I don't understand what is happening in our kingdom. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't say that. Don't say that. He can now will be fine. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing. Please extend our greetings to him. And also let him know what happened to you. Yeah, I will. I will. I know he's not aware of what happened to Uju. Else, who would have been here by now? Yeah, sure. Hmm? I mean, please, take care of Uju. I will. You don't need to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be on my way now. Okay. So, thank you so much for coming. May the God bless you. Say. <laughs> Say. All right. Okay. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. Be safe now. I will. I was actually on my way to your house. Ah, Rina, I, I hope all is well. Because the expression on your face is not pleasant at all. It's about that your useless friend, that your stupid friend you call Ikena. That fool of a friend. Uh, what did he do? Uh, has the spirit of death hovering around this kingdom looking for whom to kill? As if he said him. So what nonsense are you talking about? Have you not heard? Heard what? Yesterday, a certain evil spirit attacked Tamarachi the farm. Then a strange spirit saved her last night. The same evil spirit that attacked Tamarachi attacked her best friend, Uju, and almost strangled her. The good spirit suspected to be the one that saved Tamarachi, saved Uju again. As I speak with you right now, we just mother inside of Google Shrine to tell the chief priest what happened to her daughter last night. Two minutes. Well, in that case, something worse than the said evil spirit is about to befall your friend again. May the gods of our land forbid. 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 Obina, what are you talking about? One that your friend. One that full of a friend you call again to stay clear of my woman. Warn him. Else, who's on him? Else, I will invoke the spirit of my ancestors to go after him. What nonsense! Good job, good job, eh? uh, please, which woman are you talking about? So, why are you asking me stupid questions? Are you the only one in this kingdom who doesn't know about my affairs with the princess? Uh, uh, are you talking about Princess Urena? No, I'm talking about Princess Agatha. What's on him? How many princesses do we have in this kingdom? How many? Look, I have it on good authority that your friend, that your stupid friend, Ikenna, is making advances on my woman. And my princess is visiting him, visiting him of, of late. What nonsense! Please do not be angry. Are you sure of what you're saying? I look like I'm bluffing to you. No, do not, I'm, I'm joking to you. Warn your friend. Warn that idiot you call a friend. Warn him. He will not like what will befall him if I meet him next time. Warn him, I don't bluff.
How is your son? Ah, my king is doing well. Yok. What brings you to my palace? Something of very great importance has brought me to your palace, Your Majesty. Hmm. Uh, so, what, what is that? Yes. Two great, dangerous, strange spirits entered this kingdom yesterday. Have been hovering around the kingdom. Excuse me. And we have to bury the waters before it gets to the anchor. Two of our mates were attacked huh? yesterday by those same spirits. Fortunately for them, they were saved by another greater strange spirit that is more positive. This is strange. Strange indeed. What do we do? It's strange indeed. Yes. Nothing goes for nothing, Your Majesty. What you do is, nothing goes for nothing. A sacrifice has to be performed. A sacrifice? A serious sacrifice. A sacrifice. Very, very, very well then, you perform the sacrifice. Yes. Involved, Your Majesty. Two fat cows are involved, Your Majesty. Two pregnant pigs are involved, Your Majesty. Two black antelopes for the night activities of the bad spirits. And two pregnant serpents. Two black hens, fat hens. Two white cocks. Fourteen alligator pepper. Fourteen pieces of cola nut. Nine fat scorpions, pregnant scorpions. <laughs> Eleven black ants. Nine one-eyed tortoise. One-eyed tortoise. Nine. It is not ordinary ritual. Your Majesty, it's a ritual that is of a difference. This is to avert the evil, the calamity. This is to save this kingdom. Um. Not all. That is not all. Fourteen little, little, beautiful. Chameleons. This is used to change the colors of the spirit from the negative to the positive. The bigger, bigger chameleons, 14. This is to welcome the positive spirit that will save our millions in this kingdom. And of course, get the eye of a lion. Then get the eye of a millipede. Get the eye of a centipede. And then finally, get the seven horns of snail. 
There are other things you cannot buy. This is between myself and the gods. But let the cabinet see it. Make provision for these items. Um, uh, oh no. Uh, what is in the treasure? Oh well, we have, we have enough to take care of those items. Uh, Anyoko, we'll get back to you. Understand. You don't understand. Don't, don't even give me that pretentious look. Don't ever give me that pretentious look. So you've been seeing the princess. I never did me fit to let me know. Who is feeding you with all this nonsense? He cannot deny it that you are not dating the princess. He cannot. He cannot deny it that you don't want to double cross Obina to marry the princess. Deny it. Who is feeding you with all this lies? I want to see with you. After I got an information that she was attacked by an evil spirit yesterday. Then on my way coming to this place, I met an angry looking Obina who asked me to warn you to desist from seeing his princess. Else, he will command the gods of his ancestors to visit you. Did you say an evil spirit attacked with you? Yes, evil spirit attacked with you. But she was saved by this particular uh, good spirit. But that's not the point of discussion here. Do you have anything with the princess? Anyway, for your information, I do not have anything to do with the princess. She's just like a sister to me. Nothing, nothing much apart from the one you already, you already know. Does it mean that she's being a light to me? Obviously. Oh, uh, okay, nah. I know that boy is a fool. But I didn't know he has become the greatest fool in this community. If I see that boy, he will regret what I will do to him. In fact, let me not say what I will anyway, do. Anyway, 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 forget about Obina and tell me more about Uju. Uh, that will be after I am done eating. Have you finished the food those um, palace mates prepared for us? Did I hear you say us? Uh, uh, can, uh, 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 are we not together again? <laughs> are we not together? Huh? I am a messy teacher. I welcome. <laughs> so, Father, how how did your meeting with the king go? Um, son, I was unable to discuss your married proposal to the princess. With the king. How? How can you say you were unable to discuss my marriage proposal with the king? Before you left here, you told me we were going to discuss with the king about my, my supposed uh, proposed marriage to the, to the daughter, the princess. Mm. Why are you not telling me that you're unable to discuss with the king? Calm down. Calm down. I was about to discuss that's this proposal with the king when Ayoko walked in. Ayoko came to inform us that an evil spirit of death is already in our land. And that uh, a sacrifice must be must be performed to avert this this evil spirit of death in our kingdom. Father, you're getting me confused. So because of this, you didn't discuss my marriage proposal with the king. Uh, Why? You don't understand. Anyoku said that in fact two maidens would have been killed yesterday 
And if this sacrifice is not performed, so the king ordered me to go immediately to get those items that Anyoku needs to perform this sacrifice. That was what happened. This is serious. Ah, hey, not just serious. Now I have to go and get those items for Anyoku to perform this sacrifice. Eh? Before this calamity befalls our land, the gods forbid, let me be on my way. Your marriage proposal to the princess, let it be pending, because let it be pending. Mama, you mean Ayoko did not tell you what actually caused the attack on me? Mm. He only said you were attacked by a deadly evil spirit. And the same spirit was the one that attacked Amara yesterday. Uh, um, Mama, what of the spirit that saved us? He said he's a good spirit. Though it was strange to him. But my children, did you both offend anyone or any spirit? Mama, what kind of question is that? <laughs> both of you were attacked by the same spirits the same day. And another strange spirit saved both of you. My children, this gives me cause to worry. Uh, Mama, we did not offend anyone. Let alone any spirit. Oh, did Anyoko say that we did? No, he didn't. And th that means that whatever it is that happened to us is not our fault. I think you're right, my daughter. But I want both of you to be very careful this time around. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Yes, Mama. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, this is very, very strange. What will such spirit be looking for in our land? I'll be the happiest man if I have an answer to that. Why will it be now? Why will it be now that we have a great serene in this kingdom? I just hope that this sacrifice will put a stop to the whole thing. <sighs> Greetings to the King and Queen of Enyato Kingdom. May the gods bless you. You see, my princess, mother. Father, I know you are still angry with me over what happened the other day. Oh, no, 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 no. Allow me, Father, for I am truly sorry for what I did. And I promise it will never happen again. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Urena, stand up and sit down. I have forgiven you. Sit down. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I'm so proud to have a husband like you. So, should I go ahead and uh, invite my friend and his son to commence the marriage rituals? Um, we should... Um, 
I'm sorry. I was trying to say we should. What? Princess. My princess. Princess. What is it? Princess. Princess. Yes. Princess. princess. My God. Princess. What is it? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Aiko? Yeah? Are you done? Almost. But I'm waiting for her to come before we leave. Who is she? The princess. Aiko. Yeah. Are you sure you told me the truth when you said you don't have any form of romance with the princess? By the gods, I do not have anything to do with the princess, just as she requested I coach her on how to draw. Drawing, you said? Yes. On her last visit, she said that she would like to learn this. And I couldn't say no to her. What in the world will the princess be doing with the act of drawing and painting? I think she's in the best position to answer that. And I think there is more to this. Aiko, let's start going before the princess meets us here. Because it's very bad if you don't see you today. Yeah, you have a point there. Let me take distance inside. Off we go. Come in. Your razor. It's okay, good day. All right. Flo. <sighs> Do not worry, okay? Take it easy. Take it easy. Your Majesty, we are talking about my only child here. My only child. She's my only child, too. I trust the gods. They will not allow anything to happen to her. Okay? I have sent a message across to Anyoko through one of the guards. I am very much sure that as soon as Anyoko arrives, he will do something about it. But at least we should thank the gods that she's still breathing. I hope this has nothing to do with the evil spirit Anyoko spoke to you about. I don't know yet, uh, but uh, I, I trust the gods. They will not allow anything to happen to my daughter. He said... Calm down. <sighs> gods of our land, please do not allow anything to happen to my daughter. This is all I have. Mm. Eye of the gods. Are you not going to tell me what the gods have said concerning what happened to my daughter? Your majesty. The gods are silent. What do you mean the gods are silent? May the gods forbid that I speak when they have not spoken. Iyoko, my daughter the princess slumped while conversing with her mother and I. And I know it has a spiritual undertone. I brought you here to demystify the mysteries behind it. But you are not here or there. Your Majesty, I have no reason to hold back the messages of the gods. By the way, you and I should be busy concentrating on matters connected to the mysteries behind the calamities that have befallen this kingdom. You know who has gone to fetch the items which you demanded for the sacrifice? Well then, 
let us wait for the Onowo. Meanwhile, we must go into deep prayers. Deep prayers so that the gods will preserve the princess. You suffering yourself under this sun like this? Mm. Eh? Mama, you're mm. not supposed to carry this type of load in your condition. Hey, hey, hey. I know. Hey. I know my children. I don't have anybody to help me since my husband died. I don't have any option than to do it myself. Mama, please, next time call on me or you call my friend here, Ozadema. Oh? oh, I will. Thank you so much. The gods bless you all. Say. No, can you leave me If it is food now, you eat more. I'm supposed to carry this thing by yourself. Huh? Mama, you come here. That's got into this, you want to afford to share it. When it comes to food right now, you will eat me all that. So carry, carry, carry it from there. Why won't you carry why won't you carry it? You know? My princess, please, you need to eat something. Permit me to get your foods to eat, please. I can't. My princess, please. No matter how small it is. Please. My princess, Igwe will be very angry if he gets to know that he did not eat anything. Please, let me get your food to eat. Nicole, I am fine. I'm not hungry. Mama, you I greet you. Shall be well with you. Thank you. What's going on? Ma. Uh, I was pleading with the princess for me to get her something to eat, but she says she's not hungry. Okay, you can go. I'll take it up from here. Right. My love, mm -hmm. how are you? Mm -hmm. You cannot be fine in this condition. Hmm? Yes, darling. All I need now from you is your support. And by the gods, I will be alright. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? It's okay. How is she? Um, I mean the princess. I don't even know what to say. Are you okay? You just went in there to call her and you're telling me you don't know. Are, are, are you okay? 
Okechi, her health is not encouraging at all. She even refused to eat something. Eh? Hey! Because something is wrong. Something is seriously wrong. It has never been heard that the princess of any other kingdom is being attacked by any spirit whatsoever. So, something is wrong. What are you trying to say? Is the princess not a human being? Uncle, it has never happened. It has never happened. This is because the great goddess of virginity shields and protects them. My father told me so. Okay, now it has happened. Are you not telling me that the princess is no longer a virgin? The uncle, don't, don't, don't put words into my mouth. I just told you what my father told me and you are talking another thing. The poor bombiko. I see me. Don't, don't, don't. In fact, good night. Possible? What is going on in this kingdom? What is going on in this kingdom? going on here? Who must have kept this in here? What? What? What is this?
Why are you wallowing in your thoughts? What is bothering you? I'm sorry, Father. I didn't... I didn't notice you coming. How could you have noticed me when you are lost in thought? Talk to me, son. What's your problem? Father, I... I am worried about the princess. Mm. I am so worried. I mean... Father, what could be wrong with the princess? I mean, what exactly could be wrong with her? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. The whole thing is so confusing. She's not supposed to fall for any form of attack from any spirit. No, not our princess. You know, Father, you told me this yesterday. And that's exactly the reason I am more worried. I mean, I'm more concerned. What could be behind all this? I wish I knew. I don't know. I don't have an answer to this. <sighs> mm. Father, mm -hmm. will the princess ever be fine again? Only the gods have answers to that question. Not me. Even Anyoku who does not even know. But let's look up to the gods. Why are you mad, my sister? Hi! It was just like a dream. Until I had my last push and saw my baby, my sister. It now dawned on me that it was not a dream, but real. I was so speechless and confused. Hi! I never seen. Oh! Uh, 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 Machi. Eh? Did you by any mix see her face clearly? No, now. Do you ask such a question? The ray of light around her mm -hmm. made it so impossible for me to, 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 to see her face. Nah. You can't believe what I saw. Hey. It was so strange. Machi. Eh? Now I believe that. It was the same spirit that visited my daughter. And the night she was almost strangled by another spirit. No. <sighs> Ever since I was born in this, in this land, I've never seen this kind of a thing happen in this land before. What happened? Machi, this is the exact question that is on everyone's lips in this kingdom. Even our Igwe. Even Anyoko, the chief priest. That is it. Everyone is asking questions, questions. No. I understand you. But we should also thank the gods for making it possible for the spirit to come to our rescue. Yes. If not it, nobody knows where we would have been now. Honestly. I have to thank the gods. Hey. Of course, thank you. Thank you. I'm up here. My love. I I bought this for you to to apologize for for what happened some days ago. You see. I want you to know that I'm I'm really sorry. Yes, and I love you with all my heart. Listen, I am ready to do anything, anything just to, to make you happy. Check, check. My husband, yes. I love them. Thank you very much. I appreciate so much. And I want you to know that I love you too. Okay? Okay. Thank you for the dress. So, tell me, does that mean you, you've forgiven me already? <laughs> of course I have. Oh. <laughs> but, you have to talk to your sister, Mama. I don't like the way she talks to me. 
make her to understand that I am your wife. I'm not some other woman. So promise me you're going to talk to her. Listen, about that, just leave it to me. I will talk to her and I promise she will never insult you again. Thank you. But honey, these dresses are so fine. Okay. Especially this one. I know. I, I, I selected this for you. <laughs> See my skin, it suits my skin. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. And this is this is this is fine too. Yes, but I kind of like this one very well. Yeah. I'm going to wear this one to that traditional marriage. It's what? fine. I, 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 I perfectly I had to make this choice for you. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I promise you're welcome. me you're not going to discuss anything that happens in a marriage. Okay? Oh come on. Cash out. Cross my hands. <laughs> ah. You know what? I need a very delicious meal. Really? Your best. Your favorite. <laughs> okay. So, I'll be here. Just chill. Let me grab you. Don't worry. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Mm. My baby. Mother, good morning. Good morning, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, mother. I thank the gods that you are back on your feet. Uh. Uh. How are you feeling now? Uh. Mother, I am fine. How are you? And how was your night? I did not sleep throughout the night. I was so worried about your health. Your father, the king, did not sleep either. He was awake all through praying to the gods to restore your health. Thank the gods they answered him. Mother, I... Yes. I intentionally did what I did yesterday. I... I fell on purpose when you and dad were talking to me. What? Nothing happened to me. Princess! Mom. What in the name of the gods made you do that? Huh? Mother, I, I did not want to answer father's question concerning him informing Obina's father to proceed with the marriage right. And I didn't want to walk away from him or, or not answer the question because it will come across to him as me being rude. And I didn't want him to see it that way. So I, I, I thought of what to do and the only thing that came to my mind was to do what I did. This is unbelievable. Princess! Mom, Mom, I'm sorry. I am really sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. Mom. Mother. That is it. I do not know what it means, neither do I know who kept them. This is unbelievable. Could this be true? I mean, could this be possible? Who's the man? What is it? Are you saying that I mean, do you know anything about this? If what my late father told me is anything to go by, then this great kingdom called Inyato is at the verge of seeing a new Ojiana Mao, the new leader of the great masquerade group. What do you mean? Standing before us is the sacred Oji of the Great Enyato Masquerade Group. It can only appear when the gods are chosen the new leader. 
the three eggs, the three palm leaves, and the three enzu represents the three great villages that make up this kingdom. You mean your father told you all you've just said? My father was a member of the masquerade group. And you know it. Zodima, what do I do now? Nothing. Until Anyoko, the chief priest of Ogugu Shrine, gets the sign and comes for it. Eye of the gods, what message did you bring from Awachi? Have they been able to communicate with you concerning the evil spirit of death hovering in this land? Your Majesty, we have go by the we don't force the he goat upon the she goat. At the appropriate time, the gods will speak. Meanwhile, I bring you greetings from the gods. Well, I, I greet them in return. Your Majesty, our new masquerade leader has been chosen by the gods. I got a sign a few minutes ago, and that is why I am here to inform you officially in accordance with our tradition. And uh, who is this chosen one? Your Majesty. A parcel meant to be opened is not supposed to be pinched. As soon as I leave here, I will trace the OG to the house of the person. And when I get there, I will know exactly who the person is. Hmm. May the gods lead you to. And may you live long, my king. I will make a brief stop over in my shrine. From ancient and sacred orgy, the noble orgy of this kingdom, of the gods, will never go there with me. Very well, then. Thank you. Mm? 
hot water. Why, Emma? I do not know how to thank you. You are such a very nice person for coming to help me some of my house chores. The gods will bless you for me. Machi, mm. I know that I did what I am supposed to do for a friend. But if it were to be me, you would have done the same thing for me. My sister, you are such a nice woman. Your kind is rare. You hardly see your type in this land. You are a very nice person. I will always take care of you hey. and your newborn baby. Till oh. you become very strong to take yeah. care of yourself, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and may the so gods much. bless you it's, and your daughter for me. It's a, okay. I will be on my way now. My regards to your daughter. Okay, Would I will. You? All right. Mm. Thank you. Okay. May the gods bless you. He say, please, mm. take care of yourself. I will. Make sure you breastfeed our baby very well. Oh. <laughs> I will. Make sure. I will. And drink hot water, okay? I will. Let me be on my way. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Take care of yourself, fool. Oh. oh. The gods have chosen you to serve them. You are going to be the next leader of the masquerade group. Whenever the sack is filled, it is tied. The ritualistic ceremony and the cleansing that will usher you into the prestigious position will commence in no distant time. The breadfruit falls at its appropriate time. Makanaga Karaka, Anahe Ringoro. An anticipated battle does not consume the creeper. As work I hear you, then I thought to only get more. One who gather 
We don't have a complete number of those of us that die and that eat the vulture meat. We bring down the basket of the spirits. When the sound of God is heard in your father's compound and you shy away, whose compound do you want the sound? Get yourself prepared. For the boom. You said you want to have a word with me. Hope all is well. All of my beautiful sister. <laughs> my very lovely and wonderful sister. It's been long you called me your lovely and beautiful sister. So, what brought about the sudden change? <laughs> All of my my beautiful sister. There is no change anywhere. I mean, nothing changed. You know, you're still my beautiful and lovely sister. You know, you're the only family I have. I'm glad you now realize that I'm the only family member that you have. Of course. Because I no longer understand you. Listen, I realize you're the only family member I have. And you know what? Nothing will ever change that. Mm. That's a promise. Mm? And you need to just calm down. Alright? Now, you see, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but I want, to, I want to apologize for what happened the other day. Listen, it was never my intention to hurt you. You need to find a place in your heart and forgive me. Please. Remember, we are families. You see, let me make a point here. Okay. I'm your sister. And it's not how I will sit down and watch evil before you. That was why I did what I did. Okay. And you just, you just turned everything around. That's, that's, that's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Listen, I want you to know that your brother is going to be fine. Your brother is fine. You, you don't have anything to worry about. I'll be careful. And it's a promise. Hmm? It's okay. So, I'm very true. are we good now? I feel like I'm forgiving you like that, so. <laughs> Don't worry. I know what you want, and I'll get it for you. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, we are good now. <laughs> not like we're good like that, too. so. Not, not like you, know, you didn't bring anything. Don't worry, Just I'll get something for you. I thought you said you love me, and you want to make me your bride. Of course, my princess, I love you. Okay, I mean, none of that has changed. I love you with everything that makes me a man. I love you from the deepest part of my heart, okay? I will not hesitate to make you my bride the moment you give me your consent. I do not believe a word that came out of your mouth just now. Because if you truly love me like you claim, Obina, something happened to me yesterday. You did not bother in any way to check up on me and see how this woman you so much love and want to make your bride is faring. Yet you came here to tell me you love me. Come on, my princess, that's not true. No, come on, that's not true. I mean, I, I rushed here the moment I heard the news. That's, that's the fact, look. 
why, why would I stay back when I had such news? I came and uh, one of your, your, your maids, uh, uh, Nkholi, told me that you were sleeping and you never want to be disturbed. So I had to go back home. Obina, I have pictured you to be so many things. But I have never pictured you a liar. So why are you lying? Why exactly are you lying? Come on, my princess. I mean, why would I lie? I'm not lying, for God's sake. All right. Uncle Uncle He said he was here to see me yesterday. Yes, my princess. But I told him that you are sleeping. I see. You can go. Am I vindicated now? Fine. You came to check up on me and you were told I was sleeping. Obina, why didn't you wait for me to wake up? So you can see how I was faring, to be sure. Like if you were truly here to see me, like you said, and not to fulfill all righteousness, you should have waited for the person you came to see to wake up, they see her, before you leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, my princess, okay? Pardon my manners. I'm sorry I'm laughing. Okay, well, come on. I mean, you hope people know me very well. You know I would want to stay. You know I would never want to leave for anything in this world. At least to see your pretty face. Come on. You were sleeping. Okay, I didn't know when you were going to wake, so... Alright, fine. I'm sorry. Okay, I am very sorry. Please, forgive me. Please. Your Highness, the items needed for the sacrifice, they are all ready. All we are waiting for now is for the chief priest to give us a date so that we can start uh, the sacrifice. In that case, Your Highness, we have to go immediately to see Anyoko so that he give us a date for the sacrifice. The time is ripe. Eh? This is a matter of primary priority. We cannot afford to joke with it. Well, um, <clears throat> Anyoko was here. Really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. So, has he given us a date for the sacrifice? Well, um, he did not come here to talk about the sacrifice. Uh, then what did he come here to do, Your Majesty? We can't afford to be joking with all this. What else could the eye of the gods be talking about, if not the issue on ground? Well, um... He was here to intimate me about um, a new leader being chosen uh, for the masquerade group. That was why he was here. Ah, um, Your Majesty, who did they choose? He did not tell me either. According to him, uh, he said he received a message and uh, he was intimated that the sacred OG is already at the compound of the one chosen. He left here not quite long ago to, of course, uh, trace the orgy and know exactly who that person is. Mm -hmm. Tracing the orgy. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's all right. It's all right. I was planning coming to see you later in the day, but thanks to the gods for bringing you my way this minute. Coming to see me later in the day. I hope all is well. Ah, how can all be well? Eh? How can all be well? When you led against a noble man of this kingdom, how can all be well? Tanishin, look, 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 Ozadima, whatever they call you. I do not want to insult you, but why do you always keep talking nonsense? Why on earth will you gossip with my friend's name and accuse him of having a secret romance with the princess when you know he's not having any romance with the princess? My friend, listen. I do not gossip with anybody, let alone that your so called stupid friend, Ikena. Why are you to not gossip with your friend? Look, let me tell you, as far as this kingdom is concerned, I have intels everywhere, okay? I have intels everywhere, and my source is very, very reliable. What reliable source are you talking about, obi now? No, tell me, what reliable source are you talking about? So you are one of those useless, senseless, 
and idiotic boys who go about in this kingdom tarnishing and destroying people's image. What? No, how dare you? Osodima, how dare you talk to me in that manner? Are you crazy? Something wrong with you? I thought you were a noble man of this kingdom. But now I am convinced that you are a fool. Not just a fool, a bigger fool. Listen and listen real good. Desist from destroying my friend's name else. You have both of us to contend with. Listen, hey, I do not have time for this madness. But let me warn you, never in your miserable life cross my path again. Ozodi Manyao does not banter words with people, let alone someone like you. Do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you. I hope I'm not moving too much. No, no. You're good. You will love what I'm doing here. <laughs> I love cannot it. wait to see it. Don't worry. When I'm done and frame it, gloss it. <laughs> <laughs> you <I> trip. <laughs> you're making me move. I'm laughing too much. <laughs> The most beautiful I've ever seen. The most beautiful maiden in the whole world. Your beauty I've never seen. Okay, uh, we're there. We're there. Twist your face. Good, 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 good. Your beauty remains in my heart, in my head, in my memory. I can never stop thinking of you. Ikena, what is this? Uh, I, I don't understand. What don't you understand? Whose image is this? Oh, princess, that is you. That's your image you're holding. You're beautiful you. How does this look like me? No, no, no. Oh, hold on, Ikena. Is this some type of joke or something? Is there something I'm missing here? Because this definitely is not me. Princess, position well. Look at it well. Look at your nose, your mouth. Everything is complete. I got it right. Don't you like it? Ikena, are you crazy? No, 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 no. Are you insane? How can you say this is me? Who is this maiden you have drawn? Who did you draw in place of me? Where is my image? Did you, did, you, did, you, did you keep me here the whole day to draw the image of another maiden? What insult is this? Princess, you're getting me confused. This, this is you. Ikena, are you okay? Ikena, are you alright? How can this be me? Ikena, else... How do you explain this? How is this me? I mean, look at it. Take a look at, at what you gave me.
I see you brought me here to ridicule me. I see you brought me here to make a laughing stock of me. But it's okay. Let's go. It smells nice. The face is even very fine. Mm. <laughs> Do you like the food? Mm. You know, I love this food. <laughs> See, I must confess that you made a very delicious food. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Ah, ah, mm. ah, ah, ah. What? You're making me jealous. <laughs> yeah, I take our wife. <laughs> You're making me jealous. Oh, yeah, take. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Can you say please? Uh, uh, please. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> but I'm jealous, I'll feed you too. Mm -hmm. Is that your husband? Yeah, Allow her to do it. He's mine. You know, this is the kind of family I want. The family where there is no quarrel, we enjoy ourselves, and everything is fine. Now, I'm happy. We have settled all our differences. No more quarrels, <laughs> no more katakata, no more anything. I want to say thank you, and I'm so happy. Yeah, there will be no quarrel. There will be no katakata, no giri giri, no more fighting. Are you sure? I know you will say I'm the troublesome one. Uh -huh. I promise there's no more trouble. <laughs> all of my are you sure? But I'm sure. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I cross my heart. Sure? <laughs> of course, Taking the word for it, oh. Yes, brother. <laughs> but right. Enjoy your right. food. Please let's no. let's obtain table manners. No pork. Let's just enjoy this. I food. have one for you. I have one for you. Mm. Stop! <laughs> I'm jealous. Don't worry. I'll get Stop. the house one for you. Yeah. Ah, but I don't want mm. to. Mm. <laughs> So you give me this recipe. You have to pay. I I greet you, my princess. Greetings, Sozodima. My princess, you don't look bright. What is the problem? The problem is your friend. He cannot decided to rub mud on my face this afternoon. Uh, uh, please, my princess, do not be angry. <sighs> Because I know he came my friend will not undermine your personality or position as the princess of this kingdom. Please, what did he do? I think your friend will be in a better position to tell you the level of insult he hit on me this afternoon. Greetings, the three great men. Three great men that represent the three noble villages of Enyato Kingdom. You're welcome, Wesco. And what has brought you here this time of the day? The decision makers of our noble kingdom. Why are you here? Wise one, we greet you. It is no longer news that a certain evil spirit of death has been hovering around this land for some time now. We are here to inform you that the numerous items you said the gods requested from us to perform the sacrifice, which are humanly possible, they are ready. And I remember that uh, you and Yoku said you will provide the remainder. So we are here to appeal to you 
to let us perform this sacrifice and let us unravel this evil spirit that has been tormenting our land. Let the gods help us. We are ready. Um, I of the gods. That is true. Uh, so, where and when will the sacrifice take place? The gods have not revealed where and where it will take place. Uh -huh. I of the gods. How do you mean the gods have not revealed where and when the sacrifice should take place? Enokwa. Yeah? But these same gods revealed to you all the items required for this sacrifice. And now they are silent as to where and when the sacrifice must take place. How come? And we have provided the items. We brought the items. Some of the items. Uh -huh. The going of the masquerade is never the same with its return. Um, the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. Uh, Anyoko, please help us to appease the gods. Let them tell us when, where, and how. This sacrifice will be performed. We don't want to lose our people. Please. I will make further consultations of that. Meanwhile, when you get home, or no, mm -hmm. tell the king that Ikina, the son of Dumo Diakon, of a Jamino village, is going to be the leader, the next leader of the great and noble masquerade group of our kingdom. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm, you can now. Let's go. Please. Very, very well then. The king will hear your message. Thank you. I still cannot understand why you will have the princess of Enyato kingdom sit in front of you all day for you to draw her image only for you to come up with this thing as her. You can now what is the problem? I am as confused as whatever you are thinking right now. What do you mean by that? You know, while I was drawing her, I was very much sure that I was focusing on her while drawing this image. But I didn't know what happened. I didn't know how I came up with this. See, what you are saying sounds so funny to my ears. But I will advise you to go and see the princess and explain this to her. Because what you did was a total disrespect to her personality. But it wasn't intentional. Explain that to her when you see her. All right? Meanwhile, do you... Do you have food at home? I'm asking you now, do you have food at home? Don't worry, don't answer me. I can find my way. Hmm? Hmm. Tell me, Kenna, why is it that a young, handsome man like you is still single? 
and you don't seem to be searching. I've told you before that I've not seen the woman of my dream. Immediately I see her, I am going to get married to her. And who is this woman of your dream you always talk about? What does she look like? What do you want her to look like? What qualities do you want her to possess? And have you seen her before? <laughs> mm. She's very tall, very fair, extremely beautiful, with a heart of gold. She's intelligent. She's God fearing. She's a wonderful person. She possesses everything I want in a woman. She's highly gifted and favored by the gods. Hmm. All these qualities in a maiden. And you speak of her as if you've seen her before. Have you? I've never seen her before. I only see her in my dreams. I call her my perfect woman. The light of the world. Um, you can start with the drawing. What exactly was the meaning of what he can not do to me today? Did he actually do that to insult my personality? Or was it just a mistake? No. That wasn't a mistake. That was a deliberate act. He knew what he was doing. Honestly speaking, I didn't know what happened that day. I didn't just understand what happened. Ekin, I think I understand you. Okay? She herself, she didn't even understand what happened. She thinks I deliberately did it. See, to be sincere with you, if I were to be in her shoes, I would feel the same way. Seriously? Yes. And even you, you would feel the same. Or even react worse than she did. The best thing I think you should do is to go and apologize to her, just like Oz Odema, your friend, advised you to. Can't you ever change this stuff? Can't you? Better still, go to him, please. I can't hear this conversation and have your discussion. I mean, I'm tired of this princess who in our issues. What is it now? Look, I don't have a problem with her. But I mean, I'm tired of hearing this arrogant princess issue. I'm tired. I... What is going on here? Oh, I'm a woman. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Nothing else she's asking us uh, to why change. Why is that? Is this face like this? She wants us to change the topic of our discussion. What were you guys discussing about? We were just talking about what happened between uh, Princess Irina and Ikenna. That's all. Ikenna, if people don't change this topic, I will use this case for you. Uh-uh. 
Has it gotten to that? It has. No, no, nah, it has not gotten to that. Okay, okay, okay. I am sorry. We will change the topic. Are you okay now? Ah, uh, it has not gotten to that now. <laughs> Take it easy. I found a guy the empty. Eh? I'm hungry. You will not touch your son, you man. Hurry up. Took something from a guy. Eh? <laughs> nah. Yeah. So we won't adjust, eh? Don't worry. Mm. Baby, baby. Hi. I'm gonna. Obin, Obin, the gods has finally smiled on us. Father, what, what do you mean by the gods have finally smiled at us? Hey, wait. <clears throat> I'm just from the palace. Yes. And Igwe said uh, the marriage rights uh, can commence now. Yeah. Uh, the princess has finally given her consent <laughs> to everything. Father, <laughs> are you serious? Are you serious right now? Moa, Mau. I'm a big masquerade. Masquerades don't lie. I don't lie. I cannot lie. Father, Father I am. Hey, Father, this is the best news. Father, this is the best news I've heard in recent time. Father, I, I am the happiest man in the Yato Kingdom right now. I can't ah. say it. I can't say it. You don't need to tell me. Father, so, um, so uh, what do we do next? I mean, where do we start? Are you not a young man of Yato Kingdom? The first thing you do is you take her to Gugu Shrine for proper presentation to the gods. There and then, you propose to her, and her acceptance will take us to the next level. Go, ah, go. <laughs> My father! <laughs> you see why I'm always proud of you? I'm proud of you, son. <laughs> so, um, father, can, can we do that right away? Can we do that today? Don't be in a hurry. Uh, Igwe said we should start everything the next half of the ah. uh, So be patient, sorry. No, be patient, no, no, Father, I cannot wait for that day to come. <laughs> It I mean, Father, this calls for celebration. Oh, Let yes. me get you. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. I'll take my own drinks inside. Let me pull off. Let me pull off my <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Hey, wait. It is not easy. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. Thank you. Princess, I am so happy. I'm so happy that you have accepted to marry a young man. Father said the marriage process will commence in the next half for market day. Yes. He will propose to you officially before the shrine of Ogogo. Say so it's our tradition that every young man of this kingdom that wants to marry a maiden of this kingdom must go through that ritual. If the maiden accepts him before the gods, then the marriage is sealed. But if she rejects him before the gods, then there's a problem. Mother, what do you mean there is a problem if the maiden rejects the man? <laughs> My daughter, I wouldn't want to go into that. Because no one prays for such to happen to his or her own person. The most important thing here is that you have accepted to marry the young man. And I'm so happy about it. So much hatred for Do you see her as a threat? I don't like her. She's full of herself and she's arrogant. Well, I don't see the princess that way. Uh, good for you. Come to think of it, why did you say I see her as a threat? Would you? Have you developed feelings for our friend Kenna? Is is anything wrong with that? Ikena is a man every maiden of this land will want for a husband. Oh, wow! I said it! I said it! Now I know why you don't want to hear anything about the princess. Especially when it has something to do with Ikena. 
<laughs> you are scared she will take him away from you. <laughs> My friend, why not just dedicate how you feel? You know, sometimes I wonder the kind of person that you are. How would you ask me to do such a thing? Ikena is just a friend to me, just as he is to you. Yes. Well, if you actually feel something for Ikena, there is nothing wrong with you telling him how you feel. Amara, is it possible we change this topic? Is it? <laughs> well, the truth is bitter. <laughs> But it must be told. Right? <laughs> I'm your friend. I will always follow you around. <laughs> you have fallen for him. I am very sure of that. Would you? You cannot run away from me, though. I know that. I'm a... So go to the room, my bedroom, pack those clothes on the floor and wash them, okay? What are you doing here? Greetings, princess. Greet Hold that stupid greetings of yours to yourself. What are you doing here? Please, can uh, you... Uh, what did you bring your wicked self into this compound to do? Eh, uh, eh, uh, you cannot get out before I do something stupid. Please, can you come down and hear me out? Please. And what nonsense can a son of a nobody possibly want to say to me? Princess, I know I made you angry, okay? What happened the other day wasn't intentional at all. But that's not the reason it should be raining insult on me because I've come to say sorry for what I did to you. How dare you talk to me in that manner? How dare you? How dare you speak to me like this in front of my mates? What, what did you just do? Oh, what did I just do? Well, I will do it again and I will do even worse if you don't get your wicked self out of this compound right now. You see, I, I, I still can't understand why the gods allowed you to possess such level of arrogance. Yes, because th this is one thing I hate about you. I'm telling you. Oh, hey, yeah, Genzi, don't even try it next time. If you did try this thing next time, you can get Maggie, you'll be surprised. Allah. Don't try it, all. Try it next time, I'll just slap the hell out of you. And what are you two looking at? So what are you looking at? Huh? What are the two of you looking at? God blind those eyes of your stupid idiots. Now get out of my face. Get out before I do something nasty. Tells me all is not well with you. What's the problem? I've never been humiliated like this all my life. What do you mean by that statement? I wonder what the land of Enyato will become in the future if the character like Urena finally becomes the queen of this land. Ikena, what's going on? Why speak of your very good friend in such manner? I thought she was your favorite. Are you mocking me or what? Ah, this is serious. What is going on? Anyway, I went to see Princess Uren uh, and, and to apologize about what happened the other day. She rained all sorts of insults on me and even slapped me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's, what's, sorry, uh, sorry. what's so funny? Sorry. I'm just happy you've gotten what you wanted. 
You know I've told you several that that girl is arrogant and full of herself. But yet, none of you want to listen to me. I'm happy she has shown you a little of her real self. Yes. Ujumwa, hmm? I least expected this from you. What were you expecting, Ikenna? Please, I'm on my way to deliver a message to Mama Yusu. I have to go before she leaves the house. Okay? I'll see you, my very good friend. I'm very handsome friend. I'll see you, okay? went too far. She shouldn't have slapped him. Yes. My dear, I understand what you're saying. Eh? But don't you think that the princess did what she did because she was badly hurt by that young man? How? As in what do you mean? Is it not obvious that the princess lost and wants Ikenna so badly? Does that justify what just happened out there? Excuse me. If the princess loves Ikenna as you claim, she should have been matured enough to tell him. Better still, she should have allowed the Kenna notice the love she has for him and maybe Kenna would have given her a chance. Mm -hmm. My dear, what you are saying is supposed to happen the other way around. But how do you expect the princess to do that? Nkoli, hmm. if someone wants something so badly, he or she should go for it. Simple. Mm -hmm. All I know hey. is that what she did Oh, the Roma. Yes, uh, the young man messed up by drawing whoever he drew, you know, you, you know. But he, he came to apologize. Okay, it wasn't okay. Mm. It wasn't good. It was not good. It was I, not good. I don't support evil. You yeah. know me. I don't. I don't support no, I support. <laughs> I, it's like you support. <laughs> Just, just go in, in his side. Because you know I cannot take that, right? Why do you want to try? But don't talk to me. What's the problem? I'm not so scared. Are you scaring me too? Look, I had a very terrible dream. Terrible dream? Yes. Like, right here? Yes. I, I just, I just stood off moments ago and, and I saw my wife in the dream. Chasing me with it, God lass. Yes. She made an attempt on my life. She wanted to kill me. Huh. I mean, she even gave me a cut. Huh. But that is serious. Yes. But that is a very bad dream. Yes. Something is wrong somewhere. Yes. You. You. You think so? Think so? You're asking me if I think so, but I know so. If you want me to go be sleeping now, because something's not right to me. Hey, Ikenna. Hmm? I am telling you. I came face to face with death last night, Ikenna. Hmm. Ha. Ikenna, you would have been crying by now for losing your best friend to the cold hands of death. If not for that maiden, that maiden that came to my rescue. May the gods forbid. Mm. What is really going on in this land? I don't know, but something is really going wrong. How do you explain that fact? How, how did the python get into my house? How? How do you explain that? 
Our kingdom is not known for having python. So how can you explain that? Hmm. This is really giving me serious concern. Seriously. Well, come to think of it. Who was the maiden you said that came to your rescue? Uh, the maiden. The maiden that's always saved people from troubles. You know, because I saw the same ray of light that they talk about. But the only different thing here is that I, 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 I saw her face. Hmm. Yes. Are you serious? Very serious. I, I saw her face. She's, she's so beautiful. Very beautiful. Hmm. As a matter of fact, again, I, I have never seen any maiden in this kingdom as beautiful as her. No, this maiden can be likened to that imaginary bride you, you always talk about. Very beautiful, beautiful maiden. I don't get the picture. So you're here to mock me, right? Oh no, far from that, Ikenna. How can I mock you? I am telling you the truth. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Absolutely, I cannot lie to you. You are sure? Absolutely, I am sure I can't lie to you. Okay. Just wait for me. I'll be right back. Okay? Hey. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to somewhere very important. Just take care of the house. I'll be back. Kenna. Kenna. Your Majesty, may you live long. And where are you up to this early morning? I am going to visit a friend of mine, and it is very important I go now. Oh, not yet, Uhuru. I don't understand, Father. What do you mean? Are there not enough troubles in this kingdom now to start this? Father, I am grown enough. I'm an adult. I can take care of myself. That's not what I'm talking about. There was an attack on your life by a strange spirit. And many people have been attacked by the same spirit that we do not know. Just last night, two people were killed by the same spirit. I do not want anything to happen to you. And remember, tomorrow is just a, a marriage a ceremony that is about to happen between you and Obina. Father, I know. But it is very important I visit this friend of mine. I promise I'll be very careful. This discussion is over. Go back to your room. Father.